May peace be on all of you. Myself, Dr. Majid Khan, Associate Professor, Loknese Dr. J.D. Pawar College of Pharmacy, Kalman Nasik. I welcome all of you in this lecture 2 or uh, <coughs> video 2 of autocoids. In lecture 1, we were cover the chemistry, nomenclature, physiological action, physiological action of prostaglandins and in this video that is in lecture 2 we will cover SAR of prostaglandin clinically approved prostaglandin analog and a leukotriene antagonist so now let us start standard learning outcome student learning goal of this video student able to learn about the structural activity relationship of prostaglandin Student able to draw the structure and remember the uses of clinically approved of prostaglandin analog. Similarly, structure and uses of clinically approved leukotriene antagonist. So now let us start. So in that first point is SAR, that is structural activity relationship. So here it is a general structure of prostaglandin. So here R1. So here the upper chain methyl ester so this r may be ester type for example mesoprostal it is a pg analog mesoprostal so if we see here it is a mesoprostal important structural feature so here in case of this drug r1 equal to ocs3 means it is a ester type then it this r1 may be sulfonamide like here it is a it may be sulfonamide, sulfostone, sulfostone, and it may be alcoholic type that is hydroxyl group. So here like R1 equal to this one is hydroxyl group. So it possesses the greater activity than the natural prostaglandin. So this point is related to this R. So this R R1 may be ester in that example is mesoprostal it may be sulfonamide example is sulfostone and it may be alcoholic group example is rheoprost so these are the all analog of prostaglandin so in case of mesoprostal r1 equal to o ch3 here there is a hydroxyl group on 11 alpha and 16 beta position so it is a 11 position alpha means dotted line beta means with solid line so here there is a double bond on here similarly double bond on 13 and 14 position that is 13 and 14 so here double bond is there and hydroxyl group at 11 alpha and 17 beta position and r2 that is this one r2 equal to here c4 h9 and c9 equal to oxo group so here is a ketonic group so it is a mesoprostal so here r1 important is ester similarly in sulfostone r1 equal to sulfonamide another structure feature is like this similarly in case of these compounds so it is the first point r1 may be ester may be sulfonamide may be alcoholic group second point of variation in cyclopentane ring has led to reduction in prostaglandin activity enlargement or reduction of ring leads to inactive compound so prostaglandin as we know it contain cyclopentane ring if we reduce this cyclopentane ring into four carbon that is cyclobutane or if we increase the number of carbon that is cyclohexane then the activity is decreases so cyclopentane ring is important neither we can increase the number of carbon and neither we nor decrease the number of carbon in cyclopentane ring next point replacement of carbon by oxygen sulfur nitrogen leads to inactive compound so in case of cyclopentane all are carbon if we introduce heteroatom then the activity is decreases so for example if we convert this cyclopentane into furon into thiophene then the activity is decreases c point replacement of c9 keto group with double bond ch2 give active compound so in most of cases on ninth position there will there is a ketonic group but if we replace this ketonic group with double bonded ch2 then it will give the new compound metanoprost which is a active compound so it is the structure of metanoprost 
start point in lower chain carbon 15 hydroxyl group has been protonated from metabolism sorry protected from metabolism by introduction of ch3 group so in many uh, prostaglandin analog on 15 position there is a hydroxyl group and this hydroxyl group is very susceptible to metabolism so in order to protect this hydroxyl group on 15 position it is either protected by introduction of methyl group on gem dimethyl at C16. So on carbon 16, if we produce two methyl group on which is attached to same group that is called as gem dimethyl group, then the, this carbon 15 hydroxyl group is protected. So carbon hydroxyl group sensitive to metabolism in order to protect this hydroxyl group, we will put two methyl group on neighbor carbon that is carbon 16 and this two carbon is attached on the same carbon that is carbon 16 it is therefore it is called as suffix gem dimethyl similarly if we shift the hydroxyl group to c16 position increase the stability against metabolism so this 15 hydroxyl group if we shift on the 16 position the stability is increases so it is the sum SAR points of prostaglandin. Now next clinically approved prostaglandin analog. In that first one is misoprostol. Regarding mechanism, this drug act through reversible binding to EP3 receptor. So in previous lecture we see the receptor that is EP3 receptor the target of this drug this receptor receptor has high affinity for acid metabolite of mesoprostol and for other e type prostaglandin then uses of this drug that is anti secreti action it inhibit basal and nocturnal gastric acid secretion nocturnal means at the night so it inhibit basal and nocturnal gastric acid secretion and acid secretion in response to variety of stimuli including meal histamine and coffee another important action that is cytoprotective action which is important one it increase gastric blood flow increase mucus and bicarbonate bicarbonate secretion therefore it prevent the effect of acid on stomach lining that is called as cytoprotective effect then immunological action this drug inhibit basophil stamine release thus it has potential role as a immunotherapy designed to reduce allergic inflammation its reproductive effect misoprostol produce uterine contraction that may endanger pregnancy it is used for <coughs> it is used for precaution of NSAIDs induced gastric ulcer it is also used for early abortion to treat mucus missed miscarriage and to induce labor so it is the main uses of misoprostol so it is the structure of misoprostol so it is the drug it is a pg analog approved and available in market so it is the main uses of this drug now second is alprostad alprostosil or prostosil also called as prostaglandin even it is a synthetic one so it is a structure of this analog uses it produce vasodilation inhibit platelet aggregation and stimulate intestinal uterine smooth muscle the smooth muscle of ductus arteriosus it is a ductus arteriosus Actually, ductus arteriosus, it is a blood vessel connecting the pulmonary artery. It allows most of blood from right ventricle to non-functioning lung in developing fetus. So, this artery is important one, ductus arteriosus. So, it is a blood vessel which allows the most of blood from the right ventricle to the non-functioning lungs in developing fetus. So this drug, the smooth muscle of ductus arterius arterius is especially sensitive to prostaglandin even and this effect is beneficial in infants 
who have congenital defect which restrict the pulmonary or systemic blood flow so it is important use of this drug in some cases in case of conge congenital defect in new in baby when there is a less supply of blood to the lungs of that baby or in womb through this ductus arteriosus so this drug stimulate this ductus arteriosus and increase the blood flow from the left from the ventricle to the non functioning lungs this drug also used in treatment of erectile dysfunction by relaxation of trabecular smooth muscle and by dilation of cavi mosel artery so these two artery are the branch of penile artery that is penis artery so this drug relax these arteries and increase the blood flow toward the penis and therefore use in treatment of erectile dysfunction next drug dinoprostone that is called as pg e2 in pregnancy prostaglandin e2 is secreted continuously by the fetal membrane and placenta and play an important role in final events leading to initiation of labor it is known that prostaglandin e2 stimulate production of pgf2 alpha which in turn sensitize myometrium myometrium is a middle layer of uterine wall so it sensitize myometrium to endogenous and exogenous administered oxytocin prostaglandin a2 also play an important role in cervical ripening it is estimated that more than 5% of pregnancies the cervix does not ripen normally it is also used in management of missed abortion or intrauterine fetal death so it is the main uses of this drug and it is the structure of this drug that is pge2 or dinoprostone next two drug that is dinoprost and that is carboprost that is methyl pg2 alpha it is used for second trimester abortion characterized by failure of repulsion repulsion means forcing repulsion of fetus during the course of treatment by another method it is used to reduce labor and as a abortifacient abortifacient means which causes abortion it also reduce postpartum bleeding and also used in postpartum hemorrhage so it is a two drug with a structure and it is the important use of these drugs now prostaglandin analog in glaucoma so these are the drugs which are used in glaucoma that is <coughs> latanoprost this one is latanoprost then trovoprost then bimotoprost and unoprost so these are the main drug which are used in glaucoma so the primary therapeutic goal of glaucoma treatment is to lower the intraocular pressure that is iop the major risk factor for the dis for this disease so when there is a increase in intraocular pressure it leads to glaucoma so our aim to reduce the intraocular pressure intraocular pressure can be reduced by decreasing the amount of aqueous humor produced by ciliary, ciliary body or increasing its outflow through the trabecular mesh work or through surgical created pathway the long term management of glaucoma falls into five classes first one is alpha adrenergic antagonist second one is alpha 2 adrenergic agonist third one is beta blocker fourth one is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor and last one is cholinergic agonist and now the newest class is prostaglandin analog topical beta blocker have 
first line therapy of glaucoma because of their excellent pressure lowering efficacy long duration of action however cardiovascular and respiratory action release release related to systemic pharmacological action of beta blocker may be particular significant in elderly patient intolerance or lack of adequate iop lowering efficacy of first line therapy require addition of second agent prostaglandin analog for glaucoma so mainly for glaucoma another first line therapy is used which may include alpha antagonist alpha adrenergic beta blocker ca inhibitor but sometime it all another therapy that is prostaglandin analog is used for glaucoma so these are the main drug with structure which are used in glaucoma but it is the not the first choice it is a second choice agent for glaucoma now prostaglandin for pulmonary arterial hypertension pah so it is a special type of hypertension pah is defined as abnormally high blood pressure in the arteries between heart and lungs pah is classified as primary or secondary depending depending on origin of pathology secondary pah result from heart disease that is congenital congenital heart disease left heart failure or it may be due to lung disease and primary pah result directly from disorder of lungs blood vessels pah causes weakening of lining of lungs blood vessel resulting in leakage of blood which the muscle that surround the blood vessel resulting in choking of blood flow between heart and lungs the cut off of blood damages the heart right ventricle resulting in changes in shape and size leading to heart failure and death presently there is no cure for primary pah but there are several treatment that relieve the symptoms and thereby raise the quality of life and increase life expectancy by several years currently therapy include for this disease is calcium channel blocker which improve heart ability to pump the blood and lower the pressure another therapy that is use of anticoagulant to decrease the tendency of blood to clot and permit blood flow more freely third that is diuretic use to decrease the amount of fluid in body and reduce the workload on heart once patient reach more advanced stage of pah drug therapy option are limited to prostacycline ipoprostenol baroprost and tetrastenil so these are the drug which are used for this condition that is pah pulmonary arterial hypotension so it is again it is a second choice first choice is use of calcium channel blocker it may be anticoagulant by use of diuretic but sometime another drug that pg analog may be used for to produce in treatment of pah the prostacycline drug mimic the natural prostacycline which causes direct vasodilation of pulmonary and systemic arterial vascular bed and inhibition of platelet aggregation this drug reduce dyspnea fatigue and other symptom of pah ipoprostenol have short life 2 to 3 minute it must be administered by intravenous infusion via battery operated pump connected to surgically implanted catheter placed in vein in neck or chest this therapy is very expensive and administration and maintenance of pump is complex tetrastenil can be administered by subcutaneous infusion baroprost can be administered orally which improves safety and compliance so these are the drug which are used in 
these conditions. So it is a in summary short table. First one is medication means it is a PG analog. It is a type and medical condition or uses. For example, alprostadil. It is a PG E2 E1 type. Function is erectile dysfunction, maintaining a patient ductus arteriosus in the fetus. We will discuss already discuss this. Similarly, baroprost. <coughs> so it is a PG I2 type of analog uses pulmonary hypertension avoiding reper reperfusion injury then next is bimetoprost it is PG analog used in glaucoma in ocular hypertension carboprost PG analog used in labor induction about efficient in early pregnancy dinoproston PG E2 analog used in labor induction Aloprost PG I2 analog used in pulmonary arterial hypertension. Latinoprost PG analog used in glaucoma ocular hypertension. Mesoprostol it is again PG E1 analog used in stomach ulcer label induction labor induction about efficient. And it is a leukotriene antagonist monticulast used in asthma and seasonal allergies. So it is a summary of various clinically approved PG analog with their uses. Now last one is leukotriene antagonist. So these drugs function as a leukotriene released enzyme inhibitor lipooxygenase. So as we learn about the pathway of prostaglandin or leukotrienes there is a second pathway lipooxygenase. So this enzyme is responsible for conversion of Arachidonic acid into leukotrienes. So this drug inhibit this enzyme and it also inhibit the receptor or block the receptor of leukotrienes. So this drug function as a leukotriene released enzyme inhibitor or leukotriene receptor antagonist and oppose the function of leukotriene. This leukotriene In responsible for inflammation inflammation mediator produced by immune system and promote the bronchoconstriction inflammation mucus secretion and asthma and COPD so leukotriene is responsible for all these effects so these drugs simply antagonize the effect of leukotriene so and then the first drug is Montelukast it is the structure of this drug Montelukast it is used in asthma Exercise induced bronchospasm, also used in allergic rhinitis, used in urticaria. It is used in combination with inhaled corticosteroids. Mainly, these drugs are utilized in case of asthma. Second one is Zephyrlucast. <coughs> it is FDA approved for prevention and treatment of asthma, but it is less effective than the inhaled glucocorticoids or beta agonist. Third one is that is last one is that is zeluton. It is a structure of zeluton. It is orally active inhibitor of five lipooxygenase enzyme formation and used for maintenance and treatment of asthma. So mainly this drug is utilized for the asthma. So it is about the leukotriene antagonist clinically approved. So it is about the prostaglandin analog and leukotrienic leukotriene antagonist so it is about the autopoid chapter if you like the video then subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much